Hi peaches, it's Shovel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. Your eyes do not deceive you. I have with me today a beast, the beast of Bodmin. <laughs> Does that make me beauty? The no, beast of Bodmin. <laughs> yep, the beast of Bodmin. There's a story, the beast of Bodmin. Never heard of it. Or in Devon, we had the hairy hand. It was in Dartmoor. It was called the hairy hand. Okay, I need to know what this, this is. This couple was like driving. It's like the couple was driving down the road, and suddenly this hairy hand appeared on the windscreen and made them crash and die. And this is like mystery of like if you drove down the specific road in Dartmoor, the hairy hand would appear and make you crash. Oh my god. When you said hairy hand, and you're like this couple driving down the road, my head went to like, oh, they were having and then she got really put off by his By hairy hands. Oh, like, werewolf <laughs> girls. Twilight could never. These oh, Devon men. That, these Devon men, hairy bitchy hands. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> The beginning of this interesting and very this interesting. Is, yes, film. it has interesting. <laughs> Hello, I'm Roly, Satan <laughs> of London. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber focusing on piercing, body modification, uh, tattoos, self expression, and faggotry. <laughs> Roly also does the occasional Am I the Asshole? And they're very good. Oh, Nearly I love doing Reddit videos. I do, oh, oh. I do a lot of Reddit videos as well, yes. He's incredible. You know what? In this cost of living crisis, in this disgusting world that we live in, Roly is the antidote. This I energy. Am the <laughs> I am the Antichrist. The Antichrist. I think, I think that's, that's closer to what I am going on. <laughs> Genuinely though, my loves, this energy is exactly what you need. Sometimes all you need is a good little Rolly video. So pause this video right now. Fuzzy little peaches, get your butt down in the description box. Ooh. Click on his channel. That's what we have as YouTubers. The channel, yeah. I'm, Are you okay? What's happening? <laughs> I, do, I do this for a living. What's going on? And subscribe because you really, really, really will not regret it. We've also done a video together. We have, and we did entitled parents. I was spicy. Would you you were, spicy? you were very spicy. She, she said many racial slurs. I did not. I did not. I did not. Though we did diss Rishi Sunak. So we you did. Know. We did. We did. Take a look. But for now, we are going to dive deep, not into the assholes, not today, Ooh. but into confession. Confession. Which is something we've done a couple times. Do you know? Last time I did this was seven months. Ago, I was like, my channel. I was just like, why? Why? It's so juicy. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I think it is? It became a little bit cursed because I did a couple of these videos and my comments were flooded by viewers giving me confessions. Oh, adorable, but also like, oh my god, I have too much power. Like, I don't need oh, to she, know oh. these really dark things. <laughs> she, she's actually one of those really toxic YouTubers that abuses her power. Colin Banager could never. I have um, servers everywhere. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't. Jesus. I don't. I well, promise. We're learning a very very deep, in-depth analysis of uh, Shaba today. This is Rolly. He's rubbing off on me. No, no, no. I don't know. No, 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 excuse me. No, 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 no. no. I, do, people always say to me all the time, like, when I have clubs, well, you just make me, I don't know, I'm such a naughty person around you. I, I bring out the realness. I bring you out who you <laughs> bring are. bring out my inner beast. I do, yes. This isn't because of me. You finally evolve hey, and come out. I didn't have hairy hands before. Did you not? Oh, no, now you haunt Dartmoor. <laughs> have you ever been to Dartmoor? No. Oh, it's actually quite a nice place. It's very like, nothing's really there, but it's like spooky nothing. Yeah, I like Dartmoor, it's fun. It's, it's a nice sort of like relaxing it's place. It's not like trauma ridden. No, 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 no. So confessions. <laughs> confessions, yes. Lovely peaches. If you wish to rid yourself, if you want to use lovely me. Not lovely peaches. Lovely peaches is this like woman on the internet who like ate her period blood and stuff Wait, and ate tampons. lovely peaches? Yeah. Okay, no, no. Okay, peaches. Fuzzy peaches. peaches. Oh, I was peaches. like, don't say lovely peaches. <laughs> She's that weird one that's like, I ate my baby's like nappies and stuff. Seriously? Yes. Look up, don't know, actually no, don't. <laughs> It's I will insane. never call you lovely peaches again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to use this as church. You have come into the holy Welcome area. Welcome to the psalm. <laughs> Psalms 18. Pretend you're in a little box and pop your little confessions downstairs mm -hmm. if you so wish. You may also DM us because Rolly also has an incredible Insta profile that you should totally I do. I will and link it's... everything downstairs. Let's take a look at some confessions. Are you ready? I am. Um, mm, okay. Let's get soaking wet. Hurry <laughs> <laughs> on. Thumbtack. Soaking wet. <laughs> Thumbtack. Thumbtack. <laughs> Let's go. Once when I was little in grade school, I thought it would be fun to put a thumbtack point up. I've actually had one of these in my ass. Oh, <laughs> yeah. and that wasn't actually, that was it just was. for fun. <laughs> no, no, it was just sitting there going, ooh. On the seat of one of my little schoolmates, he was a good friend too, but I was evil. <laughs> Relatable. He sat down heavily onto it. To my surprise, and the surprise of those who saw what I had just been up to, he didn't seem to at least be a bit disturbed. He behaved as if nothing had happened. Oh my God. One of my schoolmates made some excuse to crawl on to the floor next to him as if he had dropped something. He signaled that yes, his 
butt was parked right on top of the thumbtack. What? Could you imagine not feeling that? What's your butt made oh. of? Is it like icon- iconic? I iconic? Iconic? Iconic. Iconic. My <laughs> bum's iconic. It's numb. I was thinking bionic. Bio- oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. this is very futuristic. <laughs> oh. At one point, he lifted off his seat. I saw the thumbtack was still there, still in the middle of his seat. Apparently, when the thumbtack was dead center, the crease and curvature of my friend's butt was such at the point I went inside <laughs> met an empty space. It, it in went the inside crack. the crack. <laughs> Oh crack. my gosh. But then I was feeling uneasy and I quickly swapped the tack off the seat before he sat down again. I renounced my evil ways. You renounce. I you renounce. I don't believe OP. you for a second. I bet they did something else another time. <laughs> there is no way that they, seeing the thumbtack go in the crack. Tacks. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> And a mace, an entire mace. He just suddenly had this. Back in, my, I went to a medieval torture garden and brought this mace into school. How big? What's your back? <laughs> I mean, some people have some big. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, to be fair, that's not down the rabbit hole of, like, evilness. That was pretty all right. That feels like <laughs> very school prank that people would just do to kids, like, your, you would do to your mates anyway. I've never pierced my friend's ass like you would. No, much. but, like, this, this is what friendship with this you is, is This like. is exactly get ready. <laughs> when I hear of, like, actual, like, pranks and shit, like, this is, this is quite definitely tame. on the lower end of what yeah. I would expect kids to be doing to this each other. This is lemon and lime. Lemon I, I and lime, saying. yeah. Oh, mango and lime. Mango. I've not, not been to Nando's for a while. I'm Coconut sorry. and... <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I can't imagine, like, other things. Can I just say, I hope all of you embrace Rolly, because Rolly, to oh, me... Oh, be offended. <laughs> a bit hate me. Please hate... Send, send hate comments and I can use them for videos. The first time that I met you, I was like, wow, this guy is a lot. And I didn't know how to feel. I very quickly realised, like, I don't know anyone else as authentic as you are. You are, like, so unashamedly you. And that's just, like, everybody needs more Rolly. It's a gift. It is. It really is. <laughs> No, the thing is, it's because I grew up in such a place where it was like, everyone was literally like robots. So when I started to be a bit different and sort of come out a little bit, because I'm a bit of an attention whore, <laughs> I got attention. Really? <laughs> Even if people are calling me horrible things that are beaten up, it's still like kind of attention <laughs> because I didn't get attention from my mum because she was awful. <laughs> Cursed childhood trauma. Therapy again. Exactly. <laughs> no, but like joking aside, it's it's generally just because I got to a stage in my life where when I came out of the closet as gay, I always said to myself that I would never let anything that I can't control define like my existence. And I can't control that I'm like flamboyant, allowed, and And why should you? Quite oh, like I'm very blunt, but like none of these things are problematic. So it's not like I'm causing people distress. I mean, if you get distressed because of the way I speak, that's your problem. I mean, it so. would be pretty problematic if Nando's brought out their new flavour is coconut and I mean, I mean, I mean they're, they're but Rolly's saying yeah, exactly. it Ooh, delicious <laughs> in seriousness though I just got to a stage where like my life was so traumatic with my parents and my grandparents and everything and everyone's dead that I was just like if I waste any time being like <gasps> like I'm gonna like I'll regret it because I could be the next to die like 38 like I don't know be happy Say in case exactly. you Exactly. <laughs> Keep swearing. Don't have children. The attention thing was a joke, by the way, everyone, just so you understand. If you don't know, I was joking. These guys all love you as much as I do, Ooh. I'm sure. You're very sweet. Mm. All right, sorry. Thumbtack. Yeah, mango and mm. lime. Yeah, right. mango and lime. We're stuck. Yeah, the spice is good. It's definitely on the lower end. <laughs> lower end? Lower end. Lend, lend me your face. Lend me your thumbtack. Lend me your thumbtack. <laughs> yes. You know what? I think this was Mother Karma. <laughs> she turned around and she was like, I'm going to save you mm -hmm. from the harm. I'm going to make sure that nothing bad happens to you because what I do to you in reverse would not be absolutely kind, so. you would get the mace you were lucky mm -hmm. you were lucky you get your shins broke have you ever done something like this then because i was the bullied one i'd never prank anyone because i was like no nah, i can't even to a stage now where uh, do you remember like phone jacker back in the day remember phone jacker yeah, yeah, yeah. i could never watch it because embarrassing someone else caused me so much stress oh that i gosh. couldn't watch them because i was like <gasps> it causes me like anxiety so i'm like no i know what it feels like <gasps> baby rolly was so wholesome what happened girl <laughs> seriously <What> happened? <laughs> That was my soul to the devil. Uh. You just learned not to give. Exactly. <laughs> Pranked a guy at midnight. Ooh. Okay. So this guy usually comes to bang a lady in our neighborhood at midnight. So you have random. to say so. bang a lady. <laughs> you know what's saying? A little bit less bang like, a lady. perverse. Is it any lady? Is it the same lady? I have Ooh. questions. When everyone else is fast asleep, he silently parks his motorcycle beside the road under a tree where it's dark and he walks around 50 steps to reach the house. Nobody knows about this except me because because I am a night owl. Oh. Woo woo. Was that meant to be an owl partying? <laughs> yeah. Not going, woo 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 woo. Tonight, I decided to prank this guy for some fun. I found a filthy wet sack lying on the ground and put it on the seat of his motorcycle. Ooh. Ew. Is that it? A couple of minutes um, later. Well, you never know. Maybe there's a body in it. I don't know. <laughs> he came back and he was pretty shocked to find a seat covered with the new seat cover. Probably he didn't see it first and he sat on it. He looked around, but he didn't have any clue about who could do that. I, on the other hand, found it very amusing. I'm going to prank him again tomorrow, but this 
this time I'm going to glue his horn switch, which I guess will be even more fun. Perhaps leave a small note too. How old is Opie? How old? Oh, yeah, I mean, I- I, I like, I put a bag on his chair. To be <laughs> fair, I'm glad he's not like, oh, I cut his brake lines. Like, can you imagine? Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God, Rolly, what have you done to me? I'm like, this uh, is not like, me, no, no, it's not me, no. Oh my God, die. <laughs> this is very naughty, don't This do is very it. naughty, <laughs> don't be silly. A wet sack. Who just has a wet sack? Like, just, uh, I always go down to Fun Fest Lights and I stole one of the Hessian bags and they come back and I use it as like my pranking bag. Tomorrow like, I'm going to print stick his horn. <laughs> oh, exactly. Naughty. Ooh. But to be fair, print sticking someone's horn sounds pretty painful. It, it, <laughs> no, but then it's, what does it glue his horn? Okay, maybe it's not print stick. Perhaps maybe it's, leave a small note too. <laughs> exactly. Naughty. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky. What does it mean though? Stick it? Does that mean like it will just constantly be on? Like what? I don't know. <laughs> Flat line dead. With love, hairy hand. We did this on my video, but we're gonna do it on yours now. So far, what one would you rather have done to you? The wet sack with a pin. A wet sack. I do not want to relive having a pin in my ass. Thank I've I've much. had a lot of my ass tattoos. So I've had many needles going into my ass. <laughs> <laughs> And which would you prefer? Probably the needles, to be honest. At least I got something out of it. <laughs> Not just a wet ass. Like but also, the needles is in the past. This guy still has more coming. This could be like the entrance gate of serial killer. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god, yeah, claimed and you shamed. You say like it starts with a cookie. Oh. It starts with a wet sack. Oh, that's, it starts with me. <laughs> it ends with a break line. Exactly at dead you now. You know, like you don't want that. This, so you're this right. feels like one of those old PSAs being like, <laughs> sink. No, 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 the raid. The, the, the little hedgehog. The, the, the hedge, oh, he gets run over. Oh no! But do you remember? Do you know, do you know the one that like, the child Child. There's that like girl who's on the floor and she's like all mangled up and then she like slowly becomes like a like a normal child again but like her bones like reshaped she's, back like, goes together backwards. and all like the blood comes back into her ear and she's like if you were travelling at thirty miles an hour she would have died. Did you ever see the one? They were like because I lived in London. Mm -hmm. We took the tube a lot. Okay. There was this one that they showed us and it was like these friends who were like just chatting going in between carriages. Okay. And the train's moving, right? So she's going in between, which is in like do. the doors. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. So she's going from one carriage to the other internally through a door. Yeah, you're not supposed she to do that, like, yeah. She gets like sucked up. And I dead. have seen that. No, I have seen that. Yes, I have seen so, that. And I was like, I'm never getting on a train. <laughs> but it can, again. The thing is that can happen. It's actually true. It's not even like a scary thing. It's actually, but the, the yeah. amount of like creepy PSAs that we used to have on TV, I don't really watch TV anymore to know if they still exist, but we used to have so many growing up traumatizing. Don't even get me started on drug day at school. Drug day? Do you remember? And they'd be like, this is what happens if you eat blue waffle. And you see like these noises that are Did like- Did you really have to go to blue waffle? <laughs> Imagine a teacher going, hello everyone. They blue did. Wa no. We had no, a blue you, waffle out. No, you, no, you God, didn't. Rolling. No, stop did. it. What kind of school did you go to? Where's your ID? Have you seen a blue waffle? What is blue waffle beyond a drug? No, stop it. No, you're joking. No, stop it. What's blue waffle? It's a drug, right? What Am I gonna have to show you what blue waffle? Oh, I don't, my do God. I want to see? Well, I'm. You're going to see. <laughs> Sorry. Are you ready? Do you know what a blue waffle is? Do you know what this is? And That's this, me. This is blue waffle. What's it blue? It's a fake image that they made when we were in school, like high school. There was this whole. You thing. don't want to see that. So like, everybody didn't... knows what blue waffle is. I'm really surprised that you don't know what blue <laughs> waffle is. It was a whole trend back when we were in school. It was before like reaction videos all came out. It was like people would send things to each other, and it was like, oh my god, have you got a blue waffle? Have you seen blue waffle? And so you would Google blue waffle and it would come up with this picture of like a messed up vagina with like, it's all bright blue and it's maybe like an STD or something. Like, oh, have you got blue waffle? Is it waffle? because of a drug called blue waffle? I don't think so. I've never heard of any, I have never in we my had life blue heard- blue waffle out in school. No, your teachers were f <laughs> trolling you. I can't wait to tell Luxaria that you just told me a blue waffle <laughs> out at school. <laughs> no, but blue waffle was like, it was a prank thing that you would send to each other. They'd be like, oh my God, have you seen blue waffle? Click the link to see a blue waffle. And it was like just this vagina image. It was a fake image. It was like doctored back in the day from like 2003, course, four like, standards. Kids will be like, what did yeah, I just so, see? Blue waffle hour. I thought you were making a joke. I was like, stop talking about blue waffle. <laughs> Everyday school day. So guys who are watching, if you were in school in the 2000s, did, did you, you have, have a blue, blue waffle, waffle hour? hour? <laughs> but did you go to my school? Vile blue waffle hour. What are you talking about? I swear to God, I'm going to have to find my school friends and be like, hey. Ellie, blue waffle hour, yeah? I can't believe. <laughs> I have not spoken about blue waffle in like years. Do you know what Mr. Hands is? No! No, okay, let's <laughs> do, we won't go to Mr. Hands. I won't even describe to you what Mr. I Hands is. I do know is. two girls, one girl. Yes, but that's later though. That's like 2007. <laughs> so blue waffle was in our school time. Yeah, it was like early chain mail, I guess. All I knew was like shag bands. That was like the kinkiest thing that my school did. Oh God, maybe the four years is a bit of a difference. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. it really does make... <laughs> Maybe, maybe we're like cross generation. You were like, oh, we're doing a blue waffle and like shag bands. If you break it, we've got to have. <laughs>
AI makes it easier for me to create pictures of my fake boyfriend. Oh, God. I was never really into romantic or sexual relationships. I didn't care about it, but everyone else did, babe. Are you ace? So my last year of high school, I made up a boyfriend. Oh. I was learning Photoshop at the time, so I searched for a random dude on the internet and I put him in pictures with me. Mm. I was like such a gothic kid. Do you know of Andy Six? I took a photo of this like boy band member. I was just like, yeah, he's my boyfriend. I had him as my screensaver. Oh, I mean, God, you were an incel. <laughs> <laughs> Does incel encompass like Andy. all gender or is incel just predominantly man? Or like, is there a different word for like- Is incel an acronym? Involuntary celibate? No. So yeah, I guess, I could, guess you yeah. could be any gender. Because when I think of incel, I just think of like a, a disgusting boy who's like, oh, wait, 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 me, but it's actually because they're disgusting. I'm Disgusting no, I, so, like, no, but I was, trying to think, I was just trying to think, is there an incel of like, is there, do people say that for girls? But maybe there's like a different, ver like maybe we actually say something different. But maybe there is. We should look into this. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Note for the future. Blue waffle. Incel. Blue waffle and incel. Oh, Mr. Hands. <laughs> Mr. Hands. Thank you. As the years went on, my social circle got smaller and smaller and I didn't feel the need to make as many pictures. I wasn't on social media, so who was going to see them anyway? Last year, I started a new job and I found some new friends who are making me feel bad about being single again. So I pretended to get engaged. I am now wearing an engagement ring. Oh. Every day. God. And I regularly create pictures of my fiance to post on Instagram. Babe, just there's be yourself, There's no happy my love. ending. You don't there's, need to do this. There's no happy ending to this story. AI has been a huge help in this because I can make sure that the material I use is different enough to not be found on Google. It's still hard because AI people look so fake, but it's also good practice for me. Lol. I don't feel bad about it, but it can get stressful because I always have to make up reasons why no one can meet the man that I've been seeing for years. You don't need to act this way. You don't, You, no, you don't. You don't. can just be yourself yourself my love it, hey maybe you're ace maybe you don't have a partner and that's totally cool mm -hmm. that's allowed it's sad that your people around you are making you feel bad for being single but is it because they've started the lie do you know what i mean like if you said to me oh i've got a fiance i'd be like cool and then like you would feel the need to continue lying whereas if you'd said to me i'm single i'd have been like cool but yeah this person didn't give him a chance oh no, no so they, I, I started a single. new job and found some new friends so yes, like yes you're right these people aren't your friends they if are. they're making you feel bad. although the thing is the problem Pop if this rolling. What I will yeah. say though is I'm gonna be a devil's advocate. Like if this person is acting this way beforehand and maybe the friends have said one or two things that are actually kind of innocent, but they've just taken they've it. They've interpreted they, it to be yeah, like, oh, you're taking really it Because like if anyone heard half the that I say to you or like Jamie or Luxaria without understanding, they'll probably be like, oh. You are not a real that's, friend. Yeah, that's quite mean. <laughs> I guess maybe this person could have interpreted some of the thing different. So I don't know. But seriously, this just makes me so sad. Yeah. Like, it's sad because it's a current confession. Like the other ones that we've seen are like- AI, yes, it's really new. Enough. Yes, yes, but, yes. Yeah. But also like AI can be a real serious help right now. Do you know what I mean? Like we, the Photoshop thing, you could just be like, make me a boyfriend who X, Y, Z. It's yeah. very easy to fake this kind of thing. It, there's no happy ending. Like it's okay playing like a joke or being like funny or whatever, but this has gone to a stage now where it's actually affecting your life in a negative way. So- Did they say they have a ring? I'm now where- like they had to buy a ring just the personal trauma of being like looking at this thing and being like i've done this yeah there's no happy ending to this because the thing is i don't know how you don't have the foresight to know that like they're going to find out when it, it comes to I lies mean, and all this sh telling them right? yeah exactly like, it, it would just, be a positive thing i just think with with lies eventually it gets to a stage where you've done it for so long that even you start to believe the lie then you start to go a bit like well bananas <laughs> Rolly doesn't say bananas. No, but but it's the same. I think like when you start to go to stage, when you start believing your own lies, you yeah. almost like create this world and then You're you right. become a little bit like what uh, WandaVision. Like Shaba. Like Shaba. <laughs> yeah, like, you become like Shaba and she's like, I don't know what blue waffle is. No, but like, I think you become a little bit like- My husband is real. Exactly. You become a little bit like WandaVision where she creates this world and then she believes that this is actually yeah. what's going on. So you have to be very careful when I you really start lying like this. Though. You need better friends. You need friends. You need better friends to actually, you. yeah, support and you. If anybody else is ever feeling like this, know, just know how liberating it is. I used to be a serial liar. When I grew up, I felt so forced to lie to one half of my family that I lived with yeah. because I was so like confined by rules. I used to go out with my friends and certain people would pay people to follow me to make sure I wasn't hanging out with boys. Mm -hmm. Like it was like very CCTV. I lived on like Big Brother. It made me lie a lot to my family and it's just something that kind of carried on. Okay, you know? yeah. Like it became so easy to live in this world where I could make up things that made me feel really good. And I'd like created some of this narrative that was just to make me feel better. Okay. And I felt like and I just remember this one night where I was up all night talking to Jamie and I was like, this isn't true and this isn't true and this isn't true and I just need you to know that. And he was like, 
Okay. And I thought we were like not going to be friends anymore. I thought oh it was going to be like God. the worst thing in the world. Oh, this is like before you got together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it ended up being like one of the happiest times because I felt so liberated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From not living that lie anymore. Yeah. And like there is no reason for me to have made that stuff up anyway. I mean, it was like when I was in that self preservation time of living it and like needing to be free. But afterwards, when I was living by myself, like I didn't need to do that. So yeah. this is your PSA, my loves. Be free. Be free. Free. Yeah. Free. Yeah. This sounds very churchy, doesn't it? It does, yeah. But, you know, if, if religion teaches us anything, yeah. that is a yeah, good lesson. Yeah, say yourself free is going to be in the ground looking at a window for eight <laughs> millennia. You Jesus. don't deserve that. You don't, You don't no. deserve that. No. Because there's not going to be no happy ending to the story if you don't fix Sang Soon because you'll just get ridiculed for being the weirdo with the fake boyfriend. You're going like, to want to get rid of that ring and then what happens if you find someone that you do love? Then you're going to have to like fake a breakup and then your new partner will be like well who was this other person well who is this bitch yeah exactly for the rest of your life when you're with this person oh my god or if you are asexual just own it babe it's totally fine if friends don't like that they are not friends put them in the bed but the thing is I find with asexuality which I think is actually probably the biggest mind (laughs) is that we're never really taught that not wanting sexual relationships is is yeah is like fine people are so like this is actually part of life the world is made for two exactly the world so I can understand maybe not fully grasping because I don't know how did they say I don't think they said how old they were I can understand maybe not completely understanding if they are ace like how to accept or know about it I guess because like, again this is why sex ed is so freaking important because then you can learn these things yeah exactly you Yeah. Know? we just need to live and let live dude leave my children alone well it's just so much show them your tattoo probably <laughs> <laughs> in elementary <laughs> school I took scissors into the bathroom and cut a hole in my pants to make it look like I ripped them this is very God. mean girls <laughs> <laughs> I came back acting more surprised when kids started pointing it out. I pretended to be so embarrassed, but in reality, I just wanted attention. Oh. I've always been such an exhibitionist. You are a child. That's disgusting. <laughs> what you do, what your teachers- They are them. a child, elementary and school. They're like, and they're like, oh my God, yeah, I want to flash. Like, what, what are your parents teaching you? Jesus Christ. Wait, hang on, when we say pants, I thought trousers. Yeah, but exhibitionist. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe they're like- Sorry, my, my contact lens has decided to want to be like, hello, I'm here, girls, feel me. Don't do that, it's very pretty. It's because I've got mascara and shit on, so like my eyes are like, oh hello. You know, there are like nudist beaches offering Callum's at one of them. He is, yeah. And yeah. you're totally allowed to be naked there. You don't need to blame anyone else. For well, it. as long as you're above age, please. I don't know how old you are. How old, you might just actually just be in the high school now. Like, <laughs> yeah, please, please add the caveat. This brought us back down. We went like super spicy. Yeah, we, we did. We now we're like, yes. Oh my God, don't do drugs, <laughs> children. Don't. Don't. No, no, no blue waffles. No, no. I trick my parents when they eat ice creams. When my parents eat an ice cream cone, I always ask for the last part of the ice cream, which has a chocolate goodness at the end. They don't know that every ice cream has that part. They thought the only vanilla ice creams have the chocolate part at the end. They love the chocolate part and I feel bad for stealing it and I can't stop myself, but I always regret it after taking it from them, not before taking it. Babe, they know. They know, (laughs) sis. I'm sorry. Like (laughs) That is stupid. We can always tell. (laughs) No, but I- Trans people are ice cream cones. Exactly, yeah. We cannot melt, bitch. Uh, no, I don't understand. I feel like you're being willfully ignorant because you don't want to accept that your parents know that you're lying. How much willful is this? And the parents are like, oh, okay, child. And they're like, they're walking away happy. Well, I, I don't fun. know. I don't know, actually, because if you're old enough to be on this Reddit to write this, you're old enough to understand this more. Like, this isn't like a six-year-old. Like, I expect that kind of being like a six-year-old and the parent being like, oh, here you go, little Von Shetter. And also, like, this is written okay as well. It's not like this is like written with like no spaces or full stops or anything. I mean, chocolate's misspelled, but yeah. Is it? It's chocolate. Plate. Oh. There's no O. Maybe Chocolate. that could have been a typo. I don't know. They know, sis. <laughs> they know. Get a grip. They, they know. They know. They're being cute, good parents. When I was younger, I broke a neighborhood kid's expensive Polaroid camera. When I was a kid growing up, my friend and I were walking around the neighborhood on Christmas Day when we found a fancy Polaroid camera. Sitting there was a bunch of pictures printed out in a carrying case. We knew who it belonged to since there were several selfies taken and printed out. Imagine doing selfies on a Polaroid camera. How long How long ago was this, I wonder? Like, oh. Also, I love Polaroid. I love Polaroid. Polaroid. Yeah, Polaroid's on my side. The idea that somebody would break one, like if this wasn't an accident, I am pissed on. Oh my gosh, oh Jesus! My friend and I took several pictures of whatever we could, including selfies, and then smashed the camera with a rock because we were afraid of getting caught. It wasn't even an accident. We were also jealous of his expensive gift, and then we walked a mile into the woods and buried everything. Oh, this is very young. You could. I went to this effort. This is the beginning of a serial killer. It is. It is. 
Anyways, later that day, the kids asked if we had seen his camera and then we both said no. That was 20 years ago and I never found it and then found it and I felt bad about it. Feel bad wow. about it, dude. Feel bad about it. That's mean. Yeah, really bad. If this happened, I would totally, and I knew this person, I would go to them and be like, by the way, I broke your camera. I know it's a long time ago. Here is a new one. I am so sorry. I wouldn't. But you, you I didn't. No, because I would have done this to begin with because I'm not a <laughs> <laughs> if it's like like 20 years like I would understand if maybe this person was still in your life in some kind of aspect yeah, or you knew them yeah, like I probably like, would be like I'm so sorry. do you know what uh, Terry <laughs> when we were like 12 and you had an expensive camera I buried the remains in the woods like a serial killer murderer but I can't tell you that because I'm actually in prison <laughs> because I am a murderer now so I was, <laughs> this is bad it is no this, this is, is bad this is really sad yeah like the thing is like when it was a Christmas gift it was a Christmas you had it on Christmas day oh be like oh, let me get my camera Oh, but I also, gone. can I just say though, I'm not trying to victim blame, but like, why the f did you leave your Polaroid camera outside unattended with this photos too. around the air? I do feel like there's an element of like, well, you were being a bit dumb. The pictures were in the carry case. Oh, so the, they opened up a bag, but still, like, don't but leave still, like, don't leave the camera yeah. in the bag. Alone. I do feel, like, but I will say, like, there is no understanding here of like how old they were. So you can probably be a little bit lenient because, like, children, I guess, will Kids. sometimes do that kind of stuff. But, but like, I mean, you shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff. Like, okay, I too, I fine, take the photos. I get it. If I saw a camera, I'd be like, oh, at the moment, uh, you know. Hits. Boop, 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 yeah, exactly. Like, Look at my don't blue then waffle. Smash it. Exactly. Don't smash it afterwards. You don't smash it with a rock. Yeah. And bury the remains like some kind of serial killer. Barrier. Yes. You've basically been a serial killer before. An, for an animate object instead. <laughs> it's so sad. God. So sad. Dead now. Literally mm. dead now. Literally dead. Oh, R.I.P. to the camera. Oh, maybe they can go back together and find it. No. Oh. I kissed another man when I first started dating my now husband. I was at Coachella in 2005, about three months after I met and started dating my now husband. Oh, right. We had very much established that we were exclusive and I was 21. I saw two musicians that I'd seen play just wandering around me. Stopped to say that I was a fan, chatted for a minute. I was mildly drunk and high, but not impaired or anything. One of them asked me something like, do you want to make an old man's day? He Ooh. held his arms out to me. Oh, he I wanna know who this is now. <laughs> what was the artist? Scandal. He mm. wasn't really old, maybe mid thirties and he looked good. I was super taken aback, but I nodded. I absolutely knew what he meant. I like how abrupt OP is being. It's like, yeah, this is what I did. Yeah, I mean, they were 21 Fair. as well at the time. So it's not like they would have been like really young to not understand what was going They're on. They're like, yeah, so I totally got it. It would be I a bit weird. I knew I was I in a relationship. Yeah. I knew what he wanted. My boyfriend simply didn't cross my mind in that moment. He pulled me in close and he gave me a kiss. No tongue, but it wasn't a peck either. It's interesting how like, I totally understand the kiss that they had just from those exactly. words. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> then they went on their way and it hit me how I f***ed up. I felt guilty and thought about telling him a million times over the years, but I never did. I've never told anyone. We got married in 2010, so five years later, and still are. That is a confession. Yeah. It's just, in some ways, I'm like, it's just a kiss, but it's the lie. It's also just like the brashness of it. Actually, it's not just a lie. It's the fact that it happened. Like, you were fully aware of it. Yeah. You know, like, you knew you were in a relationship. But the thing is, like, if she stayed with this guy and she's happily with him and stuff, and she's never like, I wish I went with someone else. Like, I don't know. Would you say something? The problem with, with straight and gay, I mean, like, it's, it's a straight, yeah. I, I assume it's just a woman. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like, with gays, knowing, like, it's open relationships and kind of, like, it's not, fluid. yeah, there's a little bit more leniency. Like, again, growing up with old people, I am very monogamous anyway, so, like, I wouldn't do this anyway. But if my boyfriend, and I only just started dating him, and, like, it was three months in, and they just made out with someone quickly, and especially in an environment like this, would I have been crushed? I might have been a bit like, why would you do that? But, like, I don't think it would destroy the relationship. It'd be different if they were like, we on the stage like but <laughs> yeah i don't know i'm super monogamous and if jamie like went and kissed someone i would be pissed i'd be like why but it wouldn't end the relationship yeah. if they told me if i heard it from someone else though as opposed to from my partner yeah this is i'd be thing. really yeah. mad i'd be like uh why are you trying to hide it and i'm also thinking why'd you do it but if it's like if it's a celeb i say celebrity we talk about celebrity passes all the time you know like i get it if you're swept away in the moment i say like if i met miley cyrus whoo, you know like, Ooh, should, like i came in like a wrecking ball girl <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult to talk about this kind of things without me going super deep because well, I'm like, yeah, but then I don't know her. So yeah, I really wouldn't, you know. But <laughs> oh, f off you would. God, <laughs> Jamie would, would watch. But, so like, I get it, but just be honest. Yeah, I-, I If there's nothing to hide, why hide it? Yeah. That's what concerns me. She's still with him and what, and that was like, what? It was 2005 and they got married in 2010. So oh, and still this, yeah, yeah, this yeah, could, so, could so it says one day ago. So I'm assuming it's recent. I personally don't think it's really that much of a big deal. No. The big deal for me is the fact that like, you're still talking about it now. And like, if you've done it once, 
and you're still thinking about it, what else would you do? Blue waffle. Bring it all back, bring it all back to go. Stop, never give up. Hold your head high and reach the top. I think just because gay people have a different opinion with That's a lot really of this stuff. That's really interesting. There's a lot more like open relationships and stuff in the LGBT community. I'm monogamous, but even I would be like, I don't think I, I would piss me off that much. I don't think this would piss me off that much too, especially if it was in the past, which is weird, because I'm not at all suggesting that you should hold on to things and not tell people for years. But if it's just a kiss and it didn't mean anything, say it. As long as it hadn't happened multiple times with other people. Yeah, like, if you realize that this is the 10th time, Time, Shaba. Yeah, exactly. Like, Can you stop <laughs> flashing your minge? For God's Lock sake. Lock those lips up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have taken over $2,000 from my roommate without her knowing. That's disgusting. That's okay. a lot. I'm a 20 year old man and I live with my mother, my aunt. I was like, is your mum your roommate? <laughs> Ooh, can you imagine? And a woman who rents out a room from my aunt. Oh my God. So she's paying your family. It started when I was a junior in high school. My roommate asked me to take her suitcase in her room and I saw a box where she keeps her rainy day safe. Savings. I looked in the box and there was over $1,500 in it. Oh. I didn't take any money at the time, but I couldn't get it out of my head. Eventually, I took $20 out of the box and it spiraled from there. 20 turned into 40 and eventually I started taking the $100 bills that she had in there. After a year, there was nothing left in the box. This is just plain theft. Like, I'm not saying it's okay to steal from anyone, but you were taking her, like, savings. It wasn't even That's like... Sad. Yeah, it wasn't even like, oh, they just you just found money on the street or whatever, or like, you just, this home was just flipped. Like, this... From her room. Yeah. When she checked the box, she asked all of us where the money went. Oh, I vehemently denied taking the money and she believed me. She hasn't mentioned anything since. I didn't look to see if she's added more money for over a year, but one day the box crossed my mind. So I looked at it again and there were $100 bills in the box. I started taking the money from her again and I probably spent another $500 of her money last year. This is not okay. But no. why the frick did she put the money back in the same Yeah, why would you put it? That is stupid. Why would? Place. Yeah, that's really dumb. I don't spend it on drugs or anything like that. That. I grew up with an alcoholic father, so I have no urges to do drink or drugs. Don't try and excuse your behavior. Yeah, exactly. like, yeah, yeah. I put it in a secret place of my own. I saved up the money and brought a new computer with it. I'll also use it if I'm low on money or I'm going out with my friends. I do have a job and I go to college, but knowing that I have a hundred dollars stashed away somewhere eases my mind. I imagine it eased her mind until you I can't jack believe. it. You would actually go on and say, I stole her savings for my savings. Like what? Unhinged. And it reassures my mind. And it reassures my mind that I have stolen goods in my my bedroom. I'm taking this to my grave. My roommate's incredibly gullible, so it's easy to persuade her that she's misplaced the money. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I can't stop checking the box. So you're still checking the box? You're still doing it. That's disgusting. I oh. hope she sees this. Oh, this makes me so sad. Yeah. Do you know, I could never do this. I believe in Mother Karma too much. She would hurt me greatly. I would not do this. But the thing is, would you have done it when you were younger? Because no. how old is this person? Do we? Oh, 20. Do you think you would have done it when you, if you were like no. 13? Okay. Would you? I stole a little bit when I was a, 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 a but I'm talking I'm like I'm talking scared. like 12, 13. <laughs> not too like grand. not yeah. And they're still doing it now at 20. It was that like chewing gum from the sweet shop. It was oh, it was I accidentally took an alien egg. Oh, accidentally. Oh, we compulsive liar shop accidentally took it. I walked it back to the shop because security guard was following me. I was like, why? And I had this thing in my pocket, I was like, I Oh stole. god. And I like ran back and I put it in and I was like, I'm so sorry. No, like yeah, I pinched like sweets one a couple times, but like the idea that you had taken two thousand dollars from someone like as an adult as well it's not like you're just some ignorant stupid child like you've just confessed to a crime now. that's really sad i hope you find the strength to not feel the need to steal and i, I hope you find death do. this is disgusting especially because okay. the thing is like you're stealing someone else's savings and like by the looks of it they're not overly wealthy they're renting a room in a family's house exactly like you're not stealing from like jeff bezos like honestly <laughs> take his money who would you're stealing from someone who actually probably needs the money quite a lot. And, and who's I'd... quite gullible. That makes me so sad that like, they're so gullible. It's so easy to persuade her, so I keep checking the box. Yeah, really disgusting. That is really mean. God damn. All right, my loves. This has been something. We, we, I feel like they we, got spicy. We, <laughs> I feel like they got spicier as time went on. Were you trying to be an that now? No, I wasn't. Broke? I was gonna. No, I wasn't. I was just saying we, and then I stopped. We finished on a strong one, girl. Yeah, we did. Jesus wow. Christ! It was like stop thumb, stealing. Thumbtack on the boot. <laughs> no, I stole someone's rainy day fund, and now they've died. Maybe that was America, and that was a like health treatment or something. We don't know where this is from. Probably but it, it says, it so said sad. dollars. But I'm just, she was really ill all of a sudden that two grand that she had saved up, well, two and a half grand at the end of it. And she was like, but I just died now because I couldn't afford the medicine because I live in America. I mean, you wouldn't hear her because she's dead. No, you, well, <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like I had a lodger living with me when I used to live with my grandpa Gosh. and like she would save all of her money and send her money back to an African country to fund the living of all of her children. Jesus. 
You can't just take money from people no, like that. No, no. It's just rude. To buy a computer. One yeah. that you're inevitably using to write this post. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my, that's like, like rubbing salt in the wound, it's isn't it? It's like, sad. Yeah, it's really disgusting. <laughs> Please don't do that, friends. <laughs> if hell exists, you're going there, bitch. Oh, no. Get a balcony with your view, babe. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This has been fun, babe. It's Thank been, we've, we've had a, we've, we've, we've filmed two minutes now, but two hours of film. We're I feel of fun. like I know you better than I've ever known you before. Oh! You'll know me a lot better I after this see your video. Blue waffle. Exactly. <laughs> I never blue waffle. I have a yellow sausage. I did you know. tattoo that too? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to be like a Simpson. Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> the penis. <laughs> da, 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 da. And no, I'm not going to get my penis tattooed. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to share that. I'm an open book, me, girl. I'm that Samara coming out the well. Once you open it, she comes out and everything comes out with her, girls. Just don't touch me. No, just don't <laughs> touch me. No. You will understand a lot of these references if you take your little fuzzy butts over to Rolly's channel where we filmed a video. How do you know they have fuzzy butts? Because they're peaches. Because mm. i got fuzzy butts. Have you? Oh. Oh, well, because oh, I'm juicy. She's a, and a little bit she's sorry. a juicy citrus-filled peach. <laughs> is it citrus? No, what peach juice? Was it? Is that? Was that still be citrus? Delicious. Oh, <laughs> munchy, munchy. Have you got a permit for that cake? <laughs> For that waffle. For that waffle. Oh, no, no. I have learned this you term do not and it's not waffle, leaving my mind. No, no. It's your fault. It, no. It's going to cast my it's mind. It's not my fault that you <laughs> missed one of the iconic moments of like growing up in the noughties. Where was I? Where were you? Maybe I had flu that day. Maybe. You were just out there like... Blue you know, waffle. Blue, yeah, you were like, burying cameras in the forest. Like... <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, my love, please maybe consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing if you'd like to see more, and please do check out the gorgeous Rolly's channel. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for having me. Be kind. Have a great blue waffle. <laughs> <laughs>